good morning students the next function is lambda function or anonymous function the functions are divided into four types one is user defined lambda function recursion function and built in function in before uh, video we already learned built user defined function the second one is lambda function or is also called as anonymous function this is a public three mark question anonymous functions is a type of function it is one of the function but that function should not use the def keyword but user defined function we told the function starts from def keyword without def keyword a function is executing is called anonymous function for example filter so in between i didn't write def keyword this is this type of function is called uh, lambda functions or anonymous function so there is a syntax for uh, lambda function that is lambda keyword we have to use lambda arguments arguments in the sense variables arguments variables parameters objects everything is the same meaning so executable statements for example uh, for these arguments i am giving a name as sum so lambda argument 1 comma argument 2 now i am printing a uh, executable statement that is print the result in the name of the result sum of 30 comma 40 so when the compiler seeing the sum it will be move on to here so when we are seeing this it will be working in this position that is argument uh, uh, comma argument 2 that is a argument 1 plus argument 2 it will be uh, it is a meaning of this so the output is uh, now it's consider 30 plus 40 is equal to 70 will be getting so the function without a def code def keyword is called lambda function next one is third type of function recursive so it is a two mark question public when a function call itself is called recursion so when a function is called itself is called a recursion function so uh, for example def fact factorial i told a fact fact in the sense factorial of n so n value ku factorial kandupidikka podu in the program ipo first time if number is equal to factorial na first of all enna abindradhu ungalku theriyum already that is ipo or number oda factorial kandupidikkanum for example i am giving a 5 idoda factorial abindna 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 so what is the answer adoda idoda factorial if i am giving a 3 factorial epdi kandupidikkano 1 into 2 into 3 idha idoda factorial answer a irukum ipo ipo endha number nu theriyadadanaala just nam enna kuduthirukona n number appdi solli sollitom but or number oda or number maybe zero va irundha idoda factorial kandupidikka mudiyadhu that is always in a zero just nothing is there adey mari 1 abindra number ku factorial enna vada irukku abina 1 ah da irukku because next numbers ku da nammala vandu 1 and 2 abin kandupidikka mudiyume thavara 0 ku 1 ku me factorial eppovume 1 ah da irukku adha mention pandradhukku da inga solliranga if n is equal to is equal to 0 va irundha return enna pannanumna 1 ah irukanum otherwise the number vandu maybe n is equal to na ipo maybe given number is 0 va irundha 0 is exactly 0 yes so return vandu kandipa idoda factorial nada irukum suppose apdi illa abina mattum da inda factorial kandupidikkanum that is n into fact of n minus 1 in the process ku thali vidu for example ipo 5 kudukrom na 5 into fact of n minus 1 that is over the way n vandu minus 1 aagum that means 5 into 4 into that is first time n oda value 5 adukapra n minus 1 aayiru that is 4 aayiru and again fact code into pananu that is 4 minus 1 3 and 2 ஒன் இதுதான் இதோட ஆன்சராக இருக்கும்னா ஃபைவோட ஃபேக்டோரியல் ஆன்சராக இருக்கும் இப்போ ப்ரிண்ட் பண்ணுறோம் என்னென்னா ஃபேக்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் ஃபேக்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ்னு நம்ம இங்கே ஃபைவ் நம்பர்ஸ் கொடுத்துட்டோம் இப்போ இதை பார்த்தோன்னே இந்த ஃபேக்ட் அப்படின்ற ஃபங்க்ஷனை பார்த்தோன்னா கம்பைலர் ஹாவ் மூவ் டு ஹியர் அப்போ இந்த ஃபங்க்ஷன் அதேவே கால் பண்ணிக்கிச்சு எதுக்காகனா இந்த பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸை ஃபைவ்க்கான ஃபேக்டோரியல் கண்டுபிடிக்கிறதுக்காக டிக்ளேர் பண்ண ஃபங்க்ஷனையே கால் பண்ணியிருக்கு ஸோ இதுதான் என்னென்னா வென் அ ஃபங்க்ஷன் கால் இட் செல்ஃப் அதுவே கூப்பிட்டுக்குச்சு கூப்பிட்டு அந்த இந்த ஃபைவுக்கான ஃபேக்டோரியல் கண்டுபிடிக்கிறதுக்காக ஸோ தட் தட்ஸ் வை வி சர் வென் அ ஃபங்க்ஷன் இஸ் கால் இட் செல்ஃப் இஸ் கால் டிகர்ஷன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஐம் ரோட்டிங் அ ஃபைவ் த ஆன்சர் ஹேஸ் டு பி ஒன் ட்வெண்ட்டி அண்ட் 
next one is built in functions it is a very very important uh, any five built in functions in their in examination they are asking built in that's meaning is uh, already they are building in python library so already it is these functions i'm going to show that some of the functions is already available in uh, python uh, library so the first function is um, in the description alone i'm uh, just writing a simple example it will be enough for your public examination so in the name uh, abs a b s that is absolute this function is first function is absolute it will be what is it will be do in this function in the sense always it is will be return absolute value of given number for example i am declaring x is equal to 20.2 so the exact value that is absolute value of 20.2 is 20 if you are giving a 21.7 the absolute value of uh, x is equal to what is the absolute value of this in the sense 22 so the absolute value is given by the absolute function the next one is order od or order in the sense it will be written the ascii value i think already you know that ascii values that is when we are typing a keyboard a the ascii value is 61 and b 62 and c 63 as like the ascii values to be so uh, when we are uh, typing a, a it is converted as a 61 after that when it is display as a a in a, our monitor this is an encoding and decoding process so in this order function what it will be do uh, it will return the uh, ascii value for example i am giving a x is equal to small a the small a value so in the a is in the name of x so order in the order of the function called x substitute pandra po x oda value enna na a ipo a oda order kandupidikku order in the sense ascii value kandupidikku a oda ascii value vand enna va irukuna 97 a irukum next one is character it is just opposite to the order that is here the val uh, the character kana ascii value kandupidikku inge ascii value kana uh, character contribute all other so now i'm declaring x is equal to 97 so now i'm inside in the inside of character i'm displaying a x that is 97 the 97 um, ascii value is 8 next one is binary binary in the sense you know that 0 or 1 so it will be written the binary value for example i'm i'm giving a x value 15 the bi binary value of this is the bin so bin function inside i'm uh, i'm giving a x so it will be the binary answer is 0 b 1111 next is type type in the sense which type of uh, data type is uh, belong with that uh, variable it will be display so it is written the type of the variable for example x value i'm declaring a 50.15.2 so which type of data type it is float that will be shown in a output that is type of x that is float and if you're declaring a x is equal to 15 it will be answered as a integer and next one is minimum so minimum in the sense it will be written minimum value of list so inside the list i'm giving a four values so these values in the name of mark so now going to print minimum in the name of minimum uh, the mark uh, in mark 21 18 20 19 out of these the minimum of mark which one is 18 is the answer and next one is maximum so it will be show the maximum mark of the uh, list so for example same example mark 21 18 20 19 and now i'm maxing uh, this mark uh, i'm declaring inside the maximum so the markers i'm declaring inside the max function so it will be show us maximum of these things is 21 and round round what is the meaning of round in the sense it will be find the nearest to whole number that is if we declare 31 the nearest whole numbers are 30 and 40 so which one is nearest 30 it is a rounded value and if we giving a 37 so 30 also near, uh, rounded value and 40 so which one is 37 is wrong this rounded value value display in the uh, round function so i am giving a 17.7 the nearest value is 18 next is power power and this is you know that x in the 2 to the power of 2 what is the answer so when the power of x that is i am uh, declaring x value is 2 so power of 2 that is 2 to the power of 2 what is the answer 4 is the answer next one is a floor 
these three always asking in a every question paper and also it will be asking in a public examination also last year and floor in the sense it is written the largest integer and also it is equal to the x so for example x is equal to 26.7 so 26.7 uh, i'm including math math it is a mathematical function so math dot floor inside am i Uh, declaring a x value that is 26.7 which one is the values 26 is the largest integer so it is a point point 7 is a uh, float value uh, decimal value so it is not a, a strong one it is a lot of largest so 26 is a uh, powerful value whole value and the next one is seal it is opposite to this opposite to float that is return a smallest integer for example i am giving a 28.7 so smallest integer is 29 this is the seal the last one is square root square root you know that so the square root of 1 so what will be the answer that purpose we are using a square root that is return the square root of given value that x value is 30 we are including a math dot square root of x so the, uh, here the inside the math value the 30 will be appear so the 30 square root value so square of 30 what is the answer is output is this number